Representative Scott Garrett of New Jersey is a Republican member of the committee. He joins us now. Congressman, thank you very much for coming back with us. Uh, your general sure. thoughts on the idea that uh, the government is going to have to buy some mortgages in some way in order to get us out of this crisis? Yeah, I, I would question whether the, we have to do that. You know, the Republican uh, leadership in the House just came out today with uh, their principles as far as what needs to be done to address the housing uh, slump and the, the credit crunch that you've been reporting on uh, today and in the past as well. And those principles, I think, are good ones to guide us with. And as you also know, the uh, Financial Services Committee will be having a hearing this week now on, on Barney's uh, bill. But at the end of the day, I think it really comes down to one of fairness. Are we treating everyone in this matter uh, fairly, both those people who have maybe have been taken advantage of versus the other people across the street who maybe were waiting before they jumped into a overinflated marketplace. Same kind of issue came up when we had the J.P. Morgan takeover of yeah. Bear Stearns. At some point, the Federal Reserve officials decided that the fire was too great to worry about uh, whether or not we're being fair. We had to put out the fire first. Yeah, well, and that is something, as you know, that I have grave concerns about. And I, we just sent a letter to uh, Chairman Franks just now to say that uh, uh, we have concerns as what the Fed has done in there with vis-a-vis -vis Bear Stearns and that we should call for the Fed chairman to come into our committee um, to answer some questions, some basic questions as to exactly what was done there, what authority does he think he had in order to do those things, and what are some of the tests to look at going forward? Is it this actions that we could anticipate the Fed taking in the, in the future? There's some real questions that I have as far as uh, the actions of setting up a, another corporation, the Delaware Corporation, and lending money to it and so on and so forth that I think we have not got all the answers from from the Fed and also from the Treasury as well. Congressman, what kind of realistic yeah. timing are we looking at? Month after month, we're seeing the foreclosure rate rise. Month after month, we're getting additional proposals of how to deal with the yeah. crisis. But timing-wise, what do you think can actually happen? Well, it's not to be unanticipated that you'd see the foreclosure rates going as way as they have. As you know, we've seen the resets go up and down. And originally, I've heard some numbers saying that March or April were going to be a peak as far as resets. But now there's other reset numbers that come out around the end of summer as far as the peak numbers as far as resets. And a few months after those resets occur, you could anticipate some folks who are not in a strong financial position who got in over their head um, that you're going to see foreclosures peak again for those periods as well. So that is not unanticipated. Um, the action by Congress, I would hate for us to move too uh, precipitously on something like this because we did that once before in Congress and that was after Enron and WorldCom and the rest and Congress jumped into it, came up with their solution to it and of course that was SOX. And Wall Street and the rest of the United States and our economy is still paying that price when, when Congress moves too quickly, doesn't look at all the facts. Uh, and the American public pays as well. Sarbanes Oxley there. Let me just also briefly, yeah. briefly here ask you your thoughts about trying to sure. get ahead of some of the potential problems. What about home equity? Are you going to try to address that as well since some people say that's the next shoe to drop? Um, as, yeah, and, and that's part of the questions why we have some of the questions uh, Chairman Franks says his bill is coming in. You know, part of his plan is to say you have to put push down on the value of these houses that the lenders have to take a cut, if you will, a haircut, if you will, down to 85 percent. And all other creditors also, doesn't explain how in the bill, will basically just be moved out of the position as well. And there's no answer to that right now. So if you're a credit card company or other lenders to a, a homeowner, your, your interest in that home have been erased or vanished. And those are questions of equity and fairness and how real life situations are going to play out in that situation. How will the uh, creditors agree to that? And how will the homeowners, if they don't agree to it, come up with the dollars in order to pay it off? All right. Thank you very much, Representative yeah. Scott Garrett of sure. New Jersey. We have this news.